I, I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Huh? Then let's go, Kush Lord. Very quickly, as is the when I follow. When's the hallway? She suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? I mean, she was being kind of a bitch. Yeah, Yuri. I just something about the way she said that. It made me feel so murderous. <laughs> What's wrong with me? No, Yuri. I think you did the right thing. I don't really give a shit about Monica, so that was a good thing. I did. wasn't expecting it, but. It's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Kush Lord, how come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? Because you got giant tits. <laughs> yeah. I'm really interested in here. Because you're going to pull the bag loose, pop out of your chest, and you're like, you're, you're just... It's very like, distracting. It's, it's like, one little ribbon holds it all in place. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head or the police report. Like enemy Christmas present. <laughs> Nobody is perfect. We have emotions and we can't always head them away. But you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns a light sh rain shower into a hurricane. Ah. Uh, no. What? Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? What? Why would I hate you? Because I killed your family. Because I've consistently sent you to your house for the past week. What kind of friend will do that? Friend, you say. Ah, uh, um. Kush Lord, I really like being friends with you. <laughs> Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you too. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that, but I'm doing my best. Well, anyway, Taco, you're taking a big shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. You're gonna walk to the water fountain, fill the water pitcher. Why is this why why does this game have time for step by step? Literally though. Like we haven't even gotten to like the spooky part yet. <laughs> She's actual ghost. Some calming oolong tea. <laughs> well, yeah. Anything is slain. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this night. You really do this properly, There's don't you? Oh my god! <laughs> this has edged out Overwatch. <laughs> this has edged out Overwatch. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh. You know who she reminds me of? Jesus loves me. Shame on you, know the words! I shouldn't do anything less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Yeah, perhaps I will. Probably not, because it's fucking stupid. Such as the teapot and measuring tea leaves, to my surprise she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good- Fuck. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. And by two days, I mean, I've been watching you since you were four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Kush Lord. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watched Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Kush Lord, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Yeah, what is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. No, it's not. I can read my back against the wall, I mean, it depends, rather than it's bending it's over my desk. Back. Yeah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's, mo it's most likely because of my... Ah... Uh, my... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes! Yes, that's what I meant! I have terrible reading posture! So that's why we should sit on the floor. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve the book from my bag. I hear some chocolate as well. I take it and it'll go well with the tea. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding half the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. She sits closer until our shoulders are touching. 
How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. My dick will explode! <laughs> Your teacup. Holding in my hand, that's not holding the book. I end up the position that makes it even hard, harder to focus, because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her. It's an anime game. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She's noticed. She wears her intense reading expression. I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ugh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as you, you can have as much as you want. Ah, uh, that's that's okay. I won't take any. Yeah? Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Oh, yeah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Oh god, he's gonna fucking feed her chocolate, isn't he? I bet. Oh. Anime! I don't think eyes are supposed to be that reflective. Nope. Also, what is, like, there's just a lot of dust in that classroom. Yeah. <laughs> but as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. <laughs> Anthrax particle. <laughs> They're all going to die. Well, in that case, Yuri is focused on reading again. I take the chocolate pan candy pop in my mouth, then I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if this situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I absolutely. <laughs> 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 the fucking animation that I just like, oh dear, in her mouth. God, it was so good. Oh. I have to now. You have to like take like, no, a really tiny piece and then just hold it in your mouth. Right. I ever have to like put the chocolate in her mouth. Ugh. Nothing that you already closed her lips over it. Eh? You're really rushing to leave race. Okay. Okay. You're like missing you to confirm what just happened. I'm sorry, I was thinking about um, your dick. Cash Lord. So, sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah, uh, that's... Well... Y you were just helping. Listen to that friends do. Right? I mean not really in this kind of context. Like you yeah. don't have a lot of friends. She experienced an emotion she had never felt before. <laughs> <in this> friendship. <laughs> Someone that's a gigantic fucking bar of chocolate. Yeah it is. Huh? Someone that's a gigantic fucking bar of chocolate. Oh yeah. The one, the one you have. <laughs> She can't focus now. My heart is pounding. I need to leave the chocolate to her between my fingers. This time Yuri's eyes meet mine. How did this even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her I notice her chest rising and falling. Of course it does. She's breathing. She's breathing. Of course her chest is rising and falling to the rhythm of her breath. I raise my arm. Like before, Yuri parts her lips. But it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. So she's really I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Okay, everyone! Yuri jolts back. It's time to share poems. <laughs> Kush Lord, <laughs> you can help Yuri <laughs> put the tea allowed? stuff, right? Y yes, of course. Okay, thanks. Put that shit out. The spell is abruptly broken. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll take care of the cups. It had your mouth on it. I need your DNA. <laughs> So yeah. Tell you. Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor. I pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up the room without so much of a word between us. I get the feeling this is something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. Oh, God. Yet I can't forget it. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. All right. What do you want to do? Don't do Yuri. Do someone else. Oh no. All right. I guess Monica. Hi again, Kush the Lord. How's the writing going? Oh, uh, wait, real quick. People on Discord are wondering how long the stream is gonna go for. Oh, what time is it? Uh, it is currently. 9.46. I mean, I usually stream to, like, 10.30 or 11. Okay, so, yeah. At one point, I might have to switch to Overwatch, though, because, like, <laughs> I'm dying. Yeah, that's fair, honestly. Uh, is it, what, what? Honestly, like, everything. I mean, it's, it's honestly, I'm sure streamers, I don't know that, like, if they want to watch you do all the, the anime part, or, like, you can, you can play some of it on your own. Like, yeah, but I feel like that, but yeah. because I don't know when it starts. Yeah, that's true. We can, we can tell you about when it starts, but like... I'm gonna pull the chat up on, um... My computer so I can see it. Look at it again. Yeah. Yeah, because you've been streaming for two hours already, mm -hmm. so... 
But hey, that means we only have like one to two hours left until we get to horror. Past the friendly post becomes a data block. Just <laughs> finally <laughs> Best girl. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. Yeah, okay, everyone wants you to finish the whole thing on stream. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, so it starts at the start of the next day? Yeah, I guess it is. It's like three days worth of stuff and then it gets into the shit. So mm -hmm. I guess it is probably like another hour. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Well, I mean, because, like, because you, like, you share poems three times, right? Yeah. This is the second time sharing. Yeah, so you do it a third time, and then the shit goes down. The so next, the day after that? Uh, or about uh, the same. The same day. No, it's like one more day. <laughs> is it? I'm yeah. trying, I'm trying to remember. I, I haven't watched someone play all the way through in a minute, but, yeah. It's, um, yeah. I so, wouldn't, can't do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's the start of the hill. Yeah. So I don't know if we can get to that. Just keep playing and we'll see yeah, how far you get. And then, you're, you're getting yeah, close. We'll try to figure out. We'll see how yeah, a lot of people are saying it's, it's like, I think it's three days. It's three days and then it's like a little bit after that and then it goes into the, the downhill slope. So, yeah. It's some shit. Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Alright, this one's good. It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Hmm, I guess so. You can't deny that she's talented. Yeah, totally. I think her poems are the most... romantic. And she's also a total that's the best way to describe it. She is like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that. I noticed that too. Or when she's talking about literature, it's like a light turns on inside of her. Mm-hmm. Don't touch my girlfriend. <laughs> Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what goes on in that head of hers? I hope. I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, oh, I absolutely do. No, I definitely do. I just meant that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that. You must be pretty into her. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> you completely misunderstood. She is but comrade. Ha uh, ha uh, ha, uh, calm down, I'm kidding, you bitch. <laughs> Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already okay, that's, got that's a boyfriend. Bullshit. That's absolute bullshit. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah, a fictional one anyway. Because she's kind of pathetic. It's just a hunch. Well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, well, I know. I was just saying, she has a Dakimara of you in her room. You want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. It's all about you and how you look when you're sleeping. Alright, let's take a look. <laughs> Save me! What the fuck? Oh, yeah. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless ca cacophony. Fuck. Ca I always forgot to say that. Cacophony. Cacophony. Okay, I was like, cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms. Squeak. She does her cues weird. Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. So, like. So. Load me. It gets a little bit of the creepy stuff now. Hey, what does that mean? Uh, well, it means something. Hmm. Right That's <laughs> even more. <laughs> yeah, you might want to say. I'm afraid. That's even more abstract than your last one. Ha 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 ha! I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. 
No, I never said that. It's just the kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. Let me see. Do it again, I wasn't looking. <laughs> it's hard for it's hard for me to tell what it is about though. Ha 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 ha. Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling. Or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. <laughs> no fear. <laughs> Bitch! You never know when you might change your mind. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, so like, what the fuck? Oh, she says that line again later, but it's even worse. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? Ha 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 ha. Okay, someone's putting Dr. Horrible lyrics in the chat, and like, if you keep going, I will start singing them, so like. <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening.